in the vibrant village of Willowbrook, where every house was painted in bright colors and every garden bloomed with flowers, there lived a spirited young boy named Leo. Leo was known throughout the village for his adventurous spirit and his love for solving mysteries. One evening, as the village prepared for the annual festival of lights, Leo's grandfather told him a tale about Juniper's gem, a mystical stone said to glow with the light of the stars, hidden deep within the nearby enchanted forest. Intrigued, Leo decided that finding this gem would be his next great adventure. The next morning, armed with a treasure map left behind by his great-great-grandfather, who was once a famed explorer, Leo set off into the forest. The map was old and worn, with symbols and markings that hinted at both wonders and dangers that lay ahead. As Leo ventured deeper into the forest, he encountered various magical creatures who needed his help. There was a tiny fox caught in a thorn bush a bird with a broken wing, and a rabbit who had lost her way. Leo helped each one, and in gratitude they offered him advice and assistance in navigating the forest's trickier paths. The forest was alive with enchantment, with trees that whispered secrets and streams that sang lullabies. Following the clues on his map and the hints from his new friends, Leo finally reached a clearing illuminated by moonlight. It was the night of the celestial event mentioned in his grandfather's tale, the night when Juniper's gem would shine brightest. At the center of the clearing stood an ancient, gnarled juniper tree, its branches stretching wide across the starlit sky. Hanging from the highest branch, glowing with a soft celestial light, was Juniper's gem. Leo, filled with awe, realized the gem was not a stone but a rare crystal that absorbed the starlight. Using a combination of wit and the advice from his forest friends, Leo carefully retrieved the gem. As he held it in his hands, the forest seemed to sigh with relief. The magical creatures gathered and the fox explained that Juniper's gem was not only a source of light but also a symbol of the forest's health and harmony. With a sense of duty and newfound respect for the forest and its inhabitants, Leo decided to leave the gem where it belonged. Back at the village, he shared his adventure and his decision to protect the forest's treasure. The villagers celebrated Leo's courage and integrity, and from then on, they took greater care in protecting the forest that surrounded Willowbrook. That night, as Leo lay in bed, he felt a deep connection to the magical world he had explored. He learned that some treasures were not meant to be taken, but to be cherished and protected. With dreams of his next adventure, Leo drifted off to sleep, the glow of Juniper's gem like a beacon in his heart, reminding him of the magic that lay just beyond his doorstep.